Hi guys, welcome back to Harry Makes Up. I am so excited because I have another guest today with me in the studio. I swear, this is the way to do it. Just get guests on, it's so much more fun. Um, today I have Matilda from Matilda on Video. Now I feel like some of you guys might not know her face, but you'll definitely know her channel. Obviously I'm gonna leave links down below to everything Matilda does, which her edits are amazing. If you haven't seen them, definitely go check them out. And we are both a lover of natural glowy skin. We're both lover of a warm eye. So I think today we're just gonna have a play and there's some products I think Matilda hasn't tried that she wants to see in my pro kit and we're just gonna have a play. So if that sounds good, just keep watching. Look at my lovely model Matilda guys. Thanks Thank so much for having me. Oh my God, thank you for being here. I feel like so many of you guys are able to put the face to the name. Well, we need to talk about that. So first of all, while I'm doing your brows, I'm oh, just yes. grooming them up and I'm gonna use a little bit of brow flick um, in brown. You can tell us Which Matilda. I know, I think you're gonna like this. Um, so how come you don't show your face? So I, <laughs> good question. I, um, it was sort of the first format that appealed to me when I thought about yeah. filming videos. I'd watched YouTube for such a long time and um, we've just been bonding over brunch this morning and I was saying <laughs> I've watched you for so many years and oh. so when I then saw that you were following my channel, I just had a meltdown and had to message you and so oh. it's so nice to actually be catching up. But I was really obsessed with magazines and beauty yeah. spreads um, as a teenager and and then even Instagram flat lays and photography. Which you do so well, by the way. Oh, thank you. But it's sort of, yeah, it's kind of a more creative. It felt more creative and like the even for filming, the production process was much longer Yeah. Um, than if I was just sitting down to film. And it's sort of really, that's kind of the guts of what I'm talking about. There was a good, yeah. someone had left me a comment once. I was like, oh, I'm going to use that. That said it's sort of more about the content than the creator. I yes, like, I, love I love that. I love that. I kind of wish like, I'd done it. <laughs> no, we need to see what you're doing. <laughs> So good old Lancome, um, this is the rich cream. I was telling you about this earlier, Matilda. Yes. It's so nice. It gives such a beautiful glow to anything you put on top. I'm so interested to try this, having heard you talk about it. Well, the soft cream is my ultimate favorite, but okay. this is still really, really lovely. I think, especially because like you said, you've been traveling recently. Mm -hmm. So if you've come off of a flight, this is a really nice, intensely hydrating moisturizer. And you want to do this after you've done any kind of brow pen work. Okay. Interested to ask you what, do you follow a certain order? No. Every time you do makeup, so yeah, I'm what's rubbish your at that. I okay. honestly think that must be the one thing that's really confusing about my channel. Okay. Is that I'm notorious for being like, oh, I just want to do, I'm a bit like, I am a bit all over the place, okay. but I think sometimes I'm like really excited to do one bit. And then sometimes as well, like for example, with foundation, sometimes I want to see if the foundation's oxidizing. I yeah. like to see how it's meshing with the skin. Um, I definitely don't powder till the very end. That's mm -hmm. something I'm very strict with if I'm even using any powder at all. Yeah. Um, this is just making your skin look so glowy and pretty. Ooh. I mean, you've got such good skin anyway. So I'm gonna use on you a little bit of the Glossier Stretch Concealer. Um, so I'm using the shade Light, and I generally like to use kind of two brushes, one to apply, one to buff with, just to get a more seamless finish. And I'm just gonna nice. take this through the center of the face, and I'm just gonna blend out with a slightly stiffer brush as well, which is, is that just gonna, the, yeah. Is that 110? Uh, ooh, testing me now. Yeah, oh, one ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. She it's knows good. all that. <laughs> so we're just using this just to kind of. I find a more dense brush will sheer things out mm -hmm. really nicely. Okay, so for under eye on Matilda, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. We like long names. We do. <laughs> and this is two N. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of this. And I might actually have to mix this, I think, with one lighter. I might use a little bit of one end and mix the two together. Um, I quite like a slightly lighter shade under the eyes. So yeah, just, just like, well, just to give it a little pop of brightness. Yeah. And the two is a little bit more peachy as well, so it's quite good yeah. if there's any blue. It'll just kind of knock that back a little bit. So I'm just popping that just under the eye to brighten and lift a little bit. I'm bucking with a Real Technique setting brush. And whatever's left, I kind of just use a little bit around the redness of the nose, anywhere there's kind of more blood vessels. Most people tend to get a little bit of extra redness there. <laughs> so I did actually use the cooler palette on Lindsay Kelk in last week's bridal makeup video chat. Um, if you want to go and see the cooler one in action, but today we're going to use the warmer one because we've had, well, you want to see. Yeah. And I want to play with it. I've heard so much about them. That coppery orange. Yes, shade it's so pretty. So I'm going to start first. I think my go to one I tend to start with is it does have the names, I think is Nikki Dust. Oh, yeah, I've seen her wearing that a lot. Yeah, yeah. so I'm going to start with Nikki Dust. And I do find this is a formula that works best with your fingers. So close one up. And I 
think we're kind of looking for kind of like sunset vibes today, aren't we, yeah. Matilda? That's, That's what we were very saying we're feeling. Although I was saying you can basically do whatever you want. <laughs> Honestly, you could probably paint me like Avatar blue and I'd be like, oh, it's so natural. <laughs> she's, she's into skin. <laughs> So I'm just starting with my finger and you can use brushes if you want a more sheer down effect, but I think it, it gives like packs a punch when you use your finger. So I'm just moving most of the product over the lid first. I think the other reason that these are so effective is because you don't have to like worry about it setting super quick. It's kind of like you've got quite a bit of play time. Okay. Which I think is really, really important. I think it makes it more like user friendly when there's a bit more play time. If it kind of sets down straight away. Yeah, and you feel like you're in a rush. Yeah, then it can be a bit more intimidating. Okay, so I'm just blending again, that same MAC brush, so, so pretty. Okay, so a tiddly bit, and I'm just taking that under the eye, which we were talking earlier about hooded eyes, and I think one of the tricks you can do, and I was saying this to Lindsay as well, it's like a lot of people are afraid to go under the lower part of the eye, um, and I think actually you can almost like cheat a natural shadow, so if you think about it, one of the mistakes a lot of us make is we kind of do concealer like right up to the eye yeah. and then it almost makes the eye like close in a little bit. Whereas I think actually going with a color, whether it's a gold or a brown or a taupe, just kind of emphasizing that shadow, it actually gives you sort of like more of an eye. It gives you like more of a circle shape. So I actually think it actually opens your eye up more mm. because you're not putting anything in the waterline. Yeah. It's more like you're just extending the shape. I quite often, whatever I've smudged up yeah. on top, I will just quickly run it underneath the eye as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're going back in now and we're going to go in with orangey shade. So this one I think is where we get that more warmy, warmy, yes, warm please. sunset eye. Um, so I'm going to use a slightly stiffer brush. I've got the a NARS brush here. Um, this shade does have a name. This is FaceTime, which we love. This was the shade when I saw the palette. You were like, like, I need yeah. it. <laughs> and close for me. So I'm just starting this on the outer part of the eye. And I'm just going to bring it in so it's effectively just warming up the outer part of the eye. So you can just see we're just giving a bit more shape, just building up the intensity. But it's all very subtle and wearable. And I still think it has that kind of effortless vibe, which I think it's safe to say we both love Matilda. Yes, I do. That's how I found you. <laughs> and just look up for me. Um, how long have you been doing YouTube now, Matilda? Next month, two years, oh, which I can't believe it's YouTube how fast birthday. It's gone. Yes, oh my goodness. <laughs> Funny, but it's it? just been the most amazing hobby because it's led me to people like you. Oh, which is just bless you. Likewise. Quite ridiculous to be sitting here right now, to be honest. <laughs> Can't believe it. Close for me. So just with that warm shade, I'm taking a little bit of the warmth onto the inner corners as well. And I'm kind of taking this up into that section, which conventionally people kind of feel like gets quite shadowy anyway. So I kind of feel like use that and make it work for you. Especially if you're having a day where you're really tired. Mm. Go for a sunset eye. And just open for me. So pretty. Colours are so, so nice. And with that same warm colour, just look up for me, Matilda. I'm just taking that on the outer part of the eye. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take a little bit of the inner part as well. So I'm not really doing like a full on halo eye or anything like that. I'm just playing with colour and texture so it stays like a soft wash. But it's harder to detect, detect where kind of the warm, where the orange starts and the gold mm -hmm. ends. So I'm just going to line this. And I'm not really using this as a liner per se. I just want to get a bit of depth into the lashes. So I'm not even doing a flick. I'm just literally nestling it into the lash. So then I'm just taking a little bit of this Natasha Denona shade. This is one of the Chroma Crystal top coats. So this is like a more deep kind of rich brown there's still a bit of gold in there oh, so yeah. it's going to make the eyes look bring out the green um, and this shade is called metal bronze so i'm just using again another slightly more densely packed pencil brush and i'm just going to run this over the brown that we did on the lash line mm. and i like this one as well it kind of has that like wet vibe to it still so just close for me to i'm just gonna scoot you back We've got a very spinny chair today, guys. I spinny like chair, sit you. Roofed off at any moment. <laughs> Does it make you sleepy having your makeup done? I don't know. Maybe that's a good question. I think if you'd gone like a touch longer with the Lancome face cream, definitely. Yeah, like that's it. That part's always been nice. <laughs> and I'm just kind of placing that over the liner we've already done, just to soften that line a little bit. 
um, we're just gonna, I think a black lash is really nice against anything shimmery. It just gives it a bit more oomph on those lashes. <laughs> so do you rate me? this mascara really highly? I like this for, again, I find mascara a bit like skincare. It What works on one so person different. doesn't work on yeah. another person. Like me and Lindsay always just have this conversation. She'll be like, oh, did you try so-and-so? I loved it. I'll be like, yeah, it didn't work on me. And then same, like, I'll get one that I love. And she'll be like, oh, now I hated that one. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's, it really is like skincare. I think mascara is, like, really personal. And also I think it depends on what kind of lashes you already have. Yes. Like, Lindsay, to me, has, like, perfect lashes. So okay. I'm always like, you can wear anything. It looks amazing. Whereas, like, I have quite, like, I have some quite stubby lashes. I yeah. have, like, Mine I definitely get the, well. the gaps where they've kind of sometimes start to thin a little bit or I've done that terrible thing of like picking my mascara which I am guilty of sometimes <laughs> sins of a makeup artist that's another episode in itself <laughs> oh I'd like to say that actually yeah. <laughs> oh sorry I probably blinked no no you're all good I'm not at all that's why I never powder because I feel like it's quite normal for you know that you might get a little bit of mascara on your eyeshadow or yeah and it's not just leave it to dry and then once it's dry it's so easy to remove I take, I have all my concealers squished into a palette like this, but this is a Clay de Peau concealer. So I'm going to take a little which bit of this. I see, I never wrote the shades on this, I which is I'm... terrible makeup. I think it's probably, is it called light? I think it might just I be think called I light. Be beige, maybe? Beige. That I usually use, but it, dep it does depend yeah, on the Let me try. Um, and I like a synthetic brush to apply this, and then I tend to kind of buff it in okay. with another brush. Something like a fluffy brush, like the Real Technique setting brush. I used to... Um, always use a brush to apply it. And mm. now I actually do it, speaking of routines, like the mm. order that you put products on, I will go straight in with moisturizer and, and sunscreen. Yeah. And then just dot it on and sort of like pat it mm. and then literally just pat it dot in it, with yeah. my skin. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry, pat it into the skin and it then really just sort of disappears. And yeah. if you do it quick enough after the skincare You've sort got of start, that. Yeah. it's still dewy and it kind of just vanishes. Okay. I think we're ready for your favorite part. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which colour to use though? That's oh my gosh. Pressure. Um, okay, so. So I remember seeing that you use a lot of the nude sticks. I love them, yeah. Which I, I was only candidate. very recently, um, yeah, I only very recently got into them because I think Sephora Australia has a more limited shade oh, really? range. Oh. And then I found um, Taylor Frankel's channel, the founder, <gasps> yes. and she just does such beautiful, glowy, Doesn't like, she? Sort of just fresh so looks. Pretty. Yeah. And something that maybe. When I'd swatched it, I thought, whoa, that's actually quite pigmented. I don't think yeah. it would work. The way she used it just instantly was like, okay, that's approachable. That's identifiable. Yeah. You can sort of identify with it. And with um, minimal steps. I think that's what I love about yeah. the nude sticks approach. It's yeah. very like, you know, one, two, three, four products, done. Yes. And they, they kind of double up really well as mul multiple purpose. Multi-purpose. Multi-purpose. <laughs> Multitasking, so, yeah. Which let's is do... another, could be the second name of my channel. <laughs> let's do a tease for Matilda. Oh, all the cream blush. Um, what's, what's your favorite? Tell me some of your favorites. Oh my goodness! Um, what did I bring with me? Because that's always that's always sort of um, a good test of like what made it into mm. your bag when you're going away and you can only take a couple of things. Yeah. I brought. I did bring a nude stick stick. The okay. um, sun kissed. Yes. Which I, I think is maybe kissed. actually labelled as a bronzer. It is. But, but it's quite like a rosy sort of. Yes. There's sort like of, a bit of red in it. So I haven't used it as a bronzer. I only just wear it quite high along the sort of cheekbones as a blush. And mm -hmm. then I also really love at the moment the um, Lila B. Divine I Duo, tried I think that. they're called. They're really oh, nice. I really want to yeah, try that. There's a lovely on my peachy wish list. shade. Okay, so I think because of the eye, I'm going in the kind of ready orange territory. And I think I'm feeling, but still with a bit of pink, I think I'm going to start with Milk Makeup Perk. I feel like oh, that's yeah. a nice sort of like pinky, peachy coral vibe. And it's very again, like fresh. Yeah, and I, I think it's like, it's the, it's a good amount of dewiness as well. It definitely, definitely kind of, kind of uh, probably that one. yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I wear work a lot, which yes, is that I love kind of work. slightly more like rosy, yeah. even a bit dusty, whereas mm. Perk is a bit more like, bam. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, Perk, like, I was going to say packs a punch and then it's like lots of alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like to take my cream blushes as well, kind of almost a little bit into the outer corner of the eye, into the temple. So nothing separates, nothing kind of stands alone as being like a separate entity on the face. It yeah. kind of just all comes together. Um, and I do take quite a bit of excess off on the back of my hand first. And I think once you've got a wash, you can kind of look straight ahead, see how you're feeling, where the placement is. I always think as well with a cream blush that the dabbing process almost brings more blood to the surface. So mm. give it like 10 seconds or so just to settle before you decide on adding more. I um, think placement's really interesting too, that mm. I find my face shape sort of suits 
really quite high along the yes. cheekbone, and then other other faces will do more of that kind of draping apple, look. Yeah, or yeah, right yeah, on the yeah, apple. definitely. Yeah, and also I think with cream blush for me, I like to take a little bit yeah, from the nose, like down here, because I think then again it just all looks a bit more believable, like it's actually your skin. Yeah. Okay, so these are by Sunny's Face, and I have Hot Sauce and I have Girl Crush, two really beautiful colours, so I'm going to mix a little bit of these two together. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start with a flatter lip brush, and I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to start with Girl Crush, actually. So you want enough product on the lip that you can kind of manoeuvre it with a brush or your finger. I tend to start with my finger first, so like your ring finger. And don't worry about being too perfect. You just want to smush is the term I like. Oh, yeah. We like, we like a smush. And I'm just taking this as far into the lip line as I can. If it goes a little bit over, doesn't matter. It's just like the first layer. But even that is so pretty and soft. And then I'm going to start to build it up a little bit more with some shape now with the lip brush. And I think this is a great way as well if like lipstick scares you and you feel like in terms of like getting perfect lip lines and stuff is just too intimidating. These kind of textures and formulas are so good just to use with your finger and schmush. It's yeah. all about the schmush. <laughs> okay, so and then we're going to go again. I'm just taking um, Laura Mercier Lip Pencil in Natural Lips, um, which has a sort of like terracotta undertone. And I'm just taking a tiny bit on the top lip, but again, just kind of blending it back in with my finger so that it stays really soft, just to balance out the top lip. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go with hot sauce, because rude Ooh, not yes, to, please. and we're gonna do a bit of this in the center. So just get a little bit more intense in the center. And then just go over the smushing that we've already done. And we're gonna do a final smush with our finger. Once all the colour's on, just want a nice even bit of colour. This is so this is the Chanel. Oh, yes, which is a uh, bomb essential in sculpt sculpting, I think maybe. Yeah. Which and is interesting because it it doesn't sculpt. <laughs> it's a sculpting product. <laughs> but look at that balmy skin. Oh that's a moment. So good. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, I think highlighting on the nose is a controversial one, but I just like a little bit in the bridge. Just a little yeah. bit there. I feel like for me, I'm not keen on the end of the nose. Um, but I think, you know, pop it where it makes you feel glowy and good. So I'm just taking it over the high points. So I'm going to use a little bit of the Hourglass Veil Powder, which I love, just to set the areas that I want to. So I'm going to take a... Brush have I got there? I'll take a Charlotte Tilbury sculpt brush and get quite a bit up in my hand first, and then we'll just take off any shine to maximize the areas where we do want the shine. So I'm doing a little bit on the chin. And for me or most people, I find it is kind of down the T zone. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to take M Cosmetics. This is their brow cream, and this is actually in taut, but I find this is quite a dark tone still. Um, so I'm going to turn you a little bit more there we go. and I'm just going to run this through the brows to give you a slightly more bushy, slightly thickened brown, brown, brow. <laughs> um, and I love this. I find this is such a nice product. This is like a new favourite find. Mm. And with brow flick, I feel like the two together is just like a really good. Oh, that does look nice. Actually. Yeah, it's so pretty. Um, I think that's the finished look. What do you think, Matilda? I love it. I <laughs> love it. I feel like I never want to wash my face, which goes against everything I know about skincare. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> nope. But yeah, it's such a pleasure to be here. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you for letting me paint your face. Any pleasure. Time. Honestly, oh. when I was coming here and I was like, A, would love to have coffee with you. B, I volunteer as tribute. So like, really? anything you want to do on well, my face. I'm the lucky one, I think, because I got oh, to paint your face you. and to meet you. And it was an absolute joy. So I'm going to leave links to everything Matilda related in the description box. Um, yeah, what a pleasure. Thank and you. just lovely tones. I feel like this is really, really nice. It'd be a nice like holiday look. But just generally, it feels very chic and easy to wear. So let me know if you'll be trying the look. I would love for you guys to subscribe. And I'll see you soon in more videos. Thank you for having me. Bye. <laughs> Bye.